integrate sine of the square root of x. All right, so I haven't done this problem before, but I'm thinking that the only thing we really can do is to make a u substitution. So let's try and call this u. So u is equal to the square root of x. All right, so now we have to take the derivative. In order to make it easier, it might be easier to square both sides. So u squared is equal to x. All right, so now we'll take the derivative. So this will be 2u du, and that's equal to dx. And now we can make our substitution. So the dx we can replace with 2u du. So this becomes 2u du. And then here we just have the sign of u. Now at the beginning of the video, I mentioned that I haven't done this problem before. So how did I know how to do it? Well, the idea is, you know, there's not much else you can do uh, except call this u. Um, so we did that and we end up here. All right, so now we have 2u times the sine of u. So we could use integration by parts, but it might be easier to use something called tabular integration. So in tabular integration, you write down the piece that after repeated differentiation is eventually zero. So 2u. If you differentiate that one time, you get 2, and you do it again, and you get 0. So after repeated differentiation, 2u is 0. Then you write down the other piece, and you just keep integrating it. Let's see, what's a function whose derivative is sine u, right? Because we're integrating sine u. Well, the derivative of cosine is negative sine, so this should be negative cosine u. And now we need a function whose derivative is negative cosine u, so negative sine u, right, because we're integrating. So in tabular, you pick the piece that you differentiate, and you just do it, boom, there it is. You pick a piece and you integrate it, boom, there it is. Then you put plus, minus, plus, and then you just draw arrows. So the arrows, the arrows give you the answers, right, so you follow the arrows. Looks like it's going to be negative 2u cosine u. And then the next one is plus, because it's negative and negative. So plus 2 sine u, and then plus c. The very last thing to do uh, is replace the u with the square root of x. So this is negative 2 square root of x, cosine square root of x. I'll put it in parentheses this time. Plus 2 sine square root of x, and plus c. And that is the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there, and I hope it made sense. That's it.